Hi guys, it's Dave here. Dave's Mono Railroad. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video on the Walther's three stall engine house. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of the 12, 12 stall engine house, but nothing on the three stall engine house. And I was watching and another YouTuber, CSX Mad, gave me this idea for uh, making a concrete floor that looked used since I do model uh, modern diesel and occasionally I'll throw some steam engines on there too so I wanted it to look like concrete for modern day to be uh, to be weathered and everything so I'm going to start out with a Rust-Oleum flat white primer then go over to Rust-Oleum flat gray primer and then go over to a tester's flat black. Now by watching CS Max's video, he does everything while it's wet and it came out pretty good. So CS Max, uh, thanks for that video you did and now I'm gonna hopefully be able to put take what you did and put it into my uh, roundhouse and get it looking pretty good. So stay tuned. So over there we have the pits. We're gonna paint those the same way that we are going to paint the main floor right here, uh, which we want to, you know, make it look weathered and everything. So here we go, let's give it a shot. First, we're gonna start out with the primer of flat white. I did add the extensions just in case I do use them. I'm not sure, but I'd rather have it all the same from the same batch of paint and not have to worry about running out and so that's that's that. Now the next coat is going to be primer flat gray. This one, I'm just gonna like highlight because I don't, you know, if I just wanted to make it gray, we just would've used the gray. So, this is just like a little highlight of the gray. Just to tone down the weight a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, already you can see it looks like it's concrete. So, if I don't like the way it looks, I can always come back and go over it again. Last resort, it's tester spray enamel flat black.
go a little bit heavier in the pits because that's where they sit most of the time. You know, for everything. And let's see what that looks like. Maybe a little bit too much on the black on here. So we'll just hit it with the white. I think that looks pretty good. Alright guys, now stay tuned, we'll go over the assembly in another video. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and please leave your comments below. Have a great day. Welcome back guys, and with the magic of editing, it is 24 hours later. And we got a nice little surprise to add to the train room yesterday. It is... That sign right there. So, from the kids and the grandkids come the sign. So, now with 24 hours later, we're going to take a look at how these came out. So, if you remember, they were all plain gray yesterday. And now, you can see it shows a little bit of wear. Let's bring it in. A little, bit, a little bit of wear in there. Nice. Not too much, not too little. So it should look nice. And I'm contemplating on the stairs there to give them a nice yellow stripe for the safety. So that's those. Now where the engines come in, I, I like the way the bottom came out here. Of course, and then of course those will go, these will be sitting in here. Of course they're going to be this way. So these will be in here like this. And we'll have the nice contrast there of them. And then we're gonna throw them together real fast and show you the whole floor. So here's the whole floor all done. Of course, you know, we're gonna have to get it to flatten out a little bit, but it, for all intents and purposes, I like the way it came out and if I wanted to I could go over it a little bit more with the black but I like it so as they always say it's your railroad do it your way and that's the way it'll look so for now this is Dave from Dave's Model Railroad saying have a great day. Stay tuned for part two, which will be the inside of the engine house.